Some say Targoids are a threat, a menace, the impending doom coming to slay us all. But has anyone considered the alternative? Has anyone ever tried the Kirk maneuver? Though how would one fuck a Targoid? After digging through the filthy alleyways of 4chan, the slightly cleaner dumpsters of reddit and the toxic pools of forums, the answer was found in some undisclosed scientist's pocket after some very persuasive lead related talk. Even though the secret files I uncovered were labeled as theory, this would be the closest we've gotten. So apparently this theory was spawned right after the Guardian information started flowing and humanity learned the second alien race. That is, if you exclude the pussy kind that used to live on Akinar. Anyways, I quote one of the scientists. <coughs> At the time, most of what we were finding was data on Guardian biology, psychology, basically porn. Just endless amounts of Guardian porn. Over the course of disputes within a specific scientific community, the theme of disputes and conversations started drifting towards the Targoids until, eventually, some realizations surfaced. So first, let's go over facts. Targoids are carbon-based with ammonia as solvent instead of water. Ammonia plants that we've found have the mean temperature of minus 115 Celsius, while ammonia starts to boil around minus 33 degrees Celsius. So why is this so important? Well, to fuck a Targoid, you'll have to do it in their environment. Reason for that will become clear in a second. So, if you want to copulate with one, you'd have to take in count the environment, body secretions, external and internal body temperatures and pressures. So, Targoid environment, due to it being based on carbon with ammonia for solvent, would require a very low temperatures or high pressures compared to what we require. By the way, yes, if you didn't learn this in school, matter properties change depending on pressure. Additional fact, Targoids are all female, and we know basically nothing about how they reproduce. More so, Targoids are insectoid, or at least what we perceive to be as such, so they would have exoskeletons. As they live, presumably in rather harsh environments, let's assume they are capable of living in the same pressure atmosphere as we. So that would mean that the temperatures would be very low. The aforementioned minus 115 degrees Celsius would be assumed standard. Now, a human without any aid could survive in such cold for about 7 to 10 minutes before rapid hypothermia hits. If pressures are involved, then it would be even less time. Worst case scenario, human gets crushed due to high pressures. Then again, if you reverse roles, the exact opposite happens. Due to high temperatures, the Targoid would melt and or explode like a military-grade high-yield tank shell, where the exoskeleton is the shrapnel and the guts would be the explosive if the pressures are lower. This is why we would have to fuck in their environment. To them, we're like human torch, but just normal. Even our touch would shatter them due to how exoskeletons work. Okay, so then how does one fuck a Targoid? Uh, let's see. Ah, okay, here we go. <clears throat> a dual layer pressure suit with internal heating and external cooling, built from the same type of multi layer cross stitched carbon nanotube structure to allow form, flexibility, and strength against the difference in temperature and pressure, along with internal air supply and via neutral coated military grade armor pads over important body parts like head, neck, and chest. Um, call it a dream boat gimp suit from Remlock. But let's say you, a madman, decides to rush in and fuck a Targoid in those precious 7 to 10 minutes. Plenty, right? What would happen? Well, first, as you enter the Targoids, um, crevice, axe wound, snatch, uh, the cunt, basically, your dick would get an instant frostbite and fall off. Well, the Targoid, best case scenario, would get the 4th degree burns, and the worst case scenario, explodes upon entry. I wouldn't say this would be the most glamorous way to go, but sure as fuck it would be the most amazing. Amazing. But there you have it. Uh, sorry to dash your hopes of pulling the Kirk maneuver, but without the equipment, there would be no chance. Of course, this is just a theory. A theory that uh, fell out, quote unquote, from someone's pocket. So, who knows? That might be wrong. So, if you have alternative theories, uh, feel free to share them down below. And of course, for the sake of the knowledge, share the video around and dislike if you didn't like science, uh, or like and subscribe if you did. As for me, I'll go rethink my strategies on the galactic conquest.